you know, soon I will be dancing as a professional ballet dancer for 10 years. That's a huge number. And uh, I started to realize that it has been already quite a journey. And that made me think of the things that I didn't know before starting as a professional ballet dancer in a ballet company and the things that I wish I knew and all the things that I have learned in these years. And so maybe we can talk about it. You see, the first thing, the first thing that I wish that I knew earlier is that I don't have to be perfect once I finish the school. You see, when you start to work in a professional ballet company, you realize that there is so much that you don't know and so much that you have to learn and that you have the time to do that. While you are learning choreography and you're taking class, you're learning from other dancers and from other teachers and choreographers and that's all part also of your training. So you don't have to be perfect once you finish the school. And the second thing is connected to the point number one, but with the sense that you actually have no idea of anything. So we pass from thinking that you have to know and that you should know everything in the school, but then you realize that you actually have no idea for many things. For example, things like how you look to yourself and correct yourself in a ballet class or in a, in a rehearsal, how to build roles, how to stay motivated through the season, how to take care of your body, how to eat well. There are so many things that the vice schools don't teach you and that they maybe don't have to teach you, but you will learn in the, uh, once you enter the professional ballet world. And the third point that I want to make is that even when you are in school, they teach you about technique and they are so focused on that, on how to do the steps the proper way, how to get higher legs, how to work on your adagio, on your pirouettes and all the technical stuff. When you enter the professional ballet world, you realize that that's a really small percentage of what being a ballet dancer is and what doing a ballet performance is. There is the whole artistic side that maybe some teachers, they, they will teach you about it, but not everyone puts the right focus. And you have to realize that actually ballet is about telling a story. It's about acting, it's about expressing with our bodies a story and telling the best way to the audience. So. It's great when you have the really amazing technique and it's really important to learn it when while you are young, but that's not the whole package. But guys, you know, I was thinking that it's great that I tell you all these things, that I have the experience and I, I can tell you more or less how things are, but I think it would be nicer if I will ask some students that are working in a professional ballet company for the first time what they think about this topic, what are the things that they didn't know before and that maybe now they realize. Let's go to ask. I think that uh, when you are in school, there's uh, the ballet training is like the whole in a different world. I think that here in the company you are more free with uh, with the training. It develops the artistry in, in the dancing. Also uh, the teachers in school they are um, 
more uh, watching the students. They are telling uh, more stuff to them uh, as in company because they are really uh, watching the technique. But here in company, uh, the teacher uh, just says the training and you have to process it by yourself and you have to dance. No, one more thing. You can also wear whatever you want. <laughs> yeah. You don't need to have like black tights and Not, no, not, like not, really. not really. Not really. Only for exams. Yeah. Because we are only two boys. We so. are only two boys, so. Yeah, but the girls. <laughs> the, the girls, the girls, they have the uniforms. Same. Yeah. When I think about it, obviously, uh, the steps that I'm using here, the ballet steps, most of them they taught me in the school. So, obviously, the the technique, but. Uh, in a company, when you are surrounded by professional dancers, uh, you can also watch and learn. Uh, it is inspiring to watch the other people here, because they are far, far away from us. Like, they can do everything and, I don't know. Yeah, true. To watch our videos. <laughs> and, to watch this video. and subscribe. <laughs> yeah, subscribe and give like button. And, yeah, and yeah. Write a comment and. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, so, I think like hard work is definitely the key. I think uh, that in school they don't teach us on uh, like how to watch your own body. Because they, they will te tell you how you should do the steps, like the technique, but they don't teach you how you can do it with your own own body. So in theater, in company, you can you can watch your own body because you have the time in the ballet class and you can watch what to do different and what what is uh, working for you and like this. So. Uh, yeah. That's true. In school, you have like two hours of classical ballet, then you have 10 minutes break, and then you have another classes. And like, I feel that the 10 minutes break doesn't, is, is not like enough time uh, to work on your body, especially like, I don't know, uh, yoga or Pilates. But here you have class, and then there is, for example, uh, an how do you say? Skoška. Rehearsal. Yeah, rehearsal. And afterwards, you have you have uh, like time, and you can do whatever you want, either rest or work on yourself. I think the kids in school like uh, they didn't know really because the school is like we are so safe in the school. That, uh, and we don't know about the other dancers and and everything like that. So we are like in school, haha! I will have ballet training, nice. I will I will have the the other other stuff like the modern dance, blah blah blah. And then I I will go to to home and whatever, nothing. Mm. But you need to like recover, do the stretch, and everything to be like healthy. Yeah. If your, your body needs to like recover from all the stuff you did today yes. okay guys so thank you so much thank you i got some funny stuff <laughs> 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 okay. thank you thank you bye Oh my God. All right, so the first thing that I want to say is thank you to Andre and to Antonin for being in this video and giving us their perspective about the ballet school and the ballet company and how it's a transition. I think this is a moment really strange and difficult for all the students that are going for the first time in a ballet company. So I think it's nice that we can hear from my side as a professional ballet dancer for almost 10 years and from someone that's, that has just made this jump. Okay, guys. I thank you all so much for watching, subscribe to the channel, give a like, comment something that you want to say about this topic and I will see you in the next one.